All right, it is December 25th, so I guess Merry Christmas to those of you guys that might celebrate it. Also, Happy Hanukkah, and, well, hopefully you're just enjoying this if it's just a day off to relax. I mean, regardless, awesome times. Also, it being the last episode of the year, because next Friday is freaking New Year's. Just want to touch up on, hopefully you guys have been enjoying these. Hopefully they're bringing at least a smile to you, maybe a laugh. Helping you find ways to support our favorite musicians and friends that need it right now. Um, of course, it's been a tough year. There is, I mean, we've had friends and family catch COVID-19. We've had some that, unfortunately, we've lost some to. Um, also, I've lost friends to just the mental health issues that this whole thing has kind of exacerbated. And it's been, it's been rough. Trust me. But... There's been some awesome stuff. I want to thank all the musicians out there and friends that have been streaming, putting out some awesome shows. Those that are organizing them, like Tony from the Fest and uh, the Antibacterial Cafeteria, that kind of stuff. Like, it's super cool. They're super fun to watch when they're there. They've definitely made this year really exciting. Even interacting with some of you, it's been awesome. Uh, so throw that out there. And, yeah, that's just right there, some of the hope. And the things you've been donating helping these artists. So really cool. Um there is a light at the end of the tunnel is the other good news. Don't think it's just like the flip of the switch. We're going to get to January 1st and you're like, finally shows are back. Whew. They're not going to be that quick. But there's a light in the tunnel. One of them I think I'm going to touch on in this episode. So really cool stuff. Uh, but yeah, so good things to look forward to. I'm excited for 2021. Let's see what it brings. Hopefully you guys are going to be safe. You're socially distancing, not putting anyone at risk. Wearing a mask if you have to go out. Nothing extracurricular that you don't have to do. No one is serious. That kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys are being safe, enjoying it. And yeah, well, I guess you're here still because I still have about streams for the next week that you might want to go check out. And I've got a few of them. So let's not go. Yes, welcome to another episode of Every Show Joe Says Nako, helping you find live stream music from artists around the Valley of the Sun, around the country, and around the globe, for the safety and comfort of your home. Of course, thank you, Tony from Dumpster Hunt, for the theme that you heard there at the top. And also, if you're watching on YouTube, hopefully you like, hopefully you subscribe. Those help you out, and, then, and they help me out. I guess that's more. But they help you out, because if you turn notifications on, you get notifications when these things go live. And anything else I might create or put on my YouTube, you'll get notifications of. Plus, as those likes go up, I supposedly get access to more features on it. Maybe one day, ad revenue. It's like lofty goal. But that kind of stuff. Really cool. But I don't have it right now. So there's other ways you can support, like going to patreon.com forward slash every show, Joe. Go there, support. Throw in a little money if you can. If you can't, no worries. Also, I got shirts. If you go to everyshowjoe.com, click on the store link. It'll bring you to my store envy. And I got shirts for sale. You can go check those out. Uh, but ways to support. Of course, also while you're on everyshowjoe.com, go check out. I'm still going to throw it out there because you support these artists. They're some of my favorites. There's even more. I've got I've got lists and I've, I've watched so much music. But I put up a list of at least 10 of my favorite 2020 musician discoveries. Really awesome musicians. Really awesome music. Helped. Found them. Some of them some of them new. Some of them been around a little while. And it's just really cool music they're putting out there. So go check them out. Go check that out. Uh, I also have a link to Meredith's, my friend's documentary. She made a short documentary about me. About things that... How, how I'm coping with this year, but also a little bit of my backstory, but even a video from the Chandler Barbecue Fest that seems to turn up every once in a while. So there's that kind of stuff. So go check that out while you're on there. Um, of course, like I said, there's a light at the end of And one of the good news of kind of a shitty relief bill otherwise, but one of the good news is that NEVA, the National Independent Venue Association, you know, save our stages. They actually made it into the relief bill. Our independent venues are supposed to be getting around $15 billion in aid support. So they did it. They got some support. Of course, politics, and I have no idea what's going on with that relief bill anymore. Uh, you can, I won't. It's a lot of bullshit. Let's go with that. But you can go check that out. But there is some good news, so that's good news. Also, if you do want to go to, like, SaveOurStages.com, you can still go donate and help out your independent venues that way. So it's still there just to support some of our favorite places. Um, of course, I want to throw out there, Black Lives Matter, always. Black Trans Lives Matter. Uh, 
You can always donate to actually the Phoenix one, blmphxmetro.org, and support there. Uh, Justice for Breonna Taylor, remember George Floyd, Deion Johnson, and like just countless others. We are not equal at the moment, and our police reforms are bullshit. And yeah, there's there's stuff. So go support them, help them in the fight to make everyone hopefully the same have equal rights and none of the stupid imbalance shit. So that's one way to support. Um, also, back to COVID nineteen. I know. I mean, Arizona's number one. So what the fuck. But you can also support our Native American tribes. They're some of the hardest hit on the reservations. Uh, and they can use your help. So if you go to Navajo Hopi Solidarity you know, org, you can go donate. It's also a GoFundMe, so you can always give money that way. You can probably just do a search and find it, that kind of stuff. So also squeeze that in here with my mix of things. Uh, so yeah. And then, of course, back to the music stuff, how you can support. The easiest, simplest way is go support the musicians. Go buy their merch, like like this one from freaking Scott Two Network made this awesome shirt how fucking awesome uh but you can go find his stuff uh you can find all the awesome music they produce we'll go to the band camps just go buy their merch that's the most direct simplest way to give them money uh some of them are you get money through their streams too so go check out what they're doing there and some of them are raising money for other stuff so that but that's the easiest way go support your favorite musicians just buy them buying their merch uh, there is still the crew nation global relief fund that you can go donate to and that'll give it to the people that build, take apart, or I guess disassemble is the right word. Uh, load in, load out. Those those crews, those guys have no, and girls, have no job right now as there's no concerts to assemble. So they have applied a bunch of them, and they're distributing money that way. And you can go donate, and they'll distribute accordingly. There's also the Music Cares Coronavirus Relief Fund. That one, if you are a musician, you can still apply. You can give them receipts of shows that you're supposed to make money and and if you're not a musician, you can also donate, and they'll distribute that way. That's with the Grammy Foundation and, I think, Live Nation. So there's that. Of course, the other ways are the simplest ways, and that is the GoFundMes. There are an assortment of them for some of your favorite venues here in Phoenix, like the Rhythm Room, who fucking blew away within 24 hours what they were looking for. But you can go give them money, Pop Rock Live, Marquee Theater, I think Club Red. All of them up are on there, so you can go support uh, the trunk space, if you want to go donate, they are actually mightycause.com forward slash organization slash the trunk space. But they also have an awesome rad compilation that they put out there. It's on Bandcamp. It's at the band, or at the Bandcamp, at the trunk space .com. That one featuring like freaking national artists, like freaking, uh, oop, I'm losing my notes. Jeff Rosenstock, we got Dan Pothas, Sean Bennett of AJJ, we got Ogi Kubo Station, they're on there. Uh, Acme Superstar, one of my favorite locals. I'm excited to hear their new. They have music that's been in the works for a while. Uh, but they have a song on here. So, right there. I'm sold. I got Logan Green, Dinosaur Love, Smooth Hands, Andy Warpigs, Kylo Gun, Soft, Soft Shoulder, all that stuff. And that was all put together by freaking Related Records, Coronado, and Dark Hall Coffee. So, awesome on them. And all the money goes to the trunk space. And you get an awesome compilation out of it. So, if you haven't already, go do that. Maybe perfect um, post gift or use for holiday money that you might have got gifted hasn't there we go there we go we got it we framed it right uh but yeah so that kind of stuff uh rebels rebel lounge they've kind of converted into the reap and sow coffee bar so in the morning i don't know if this really should be a good tagline but <laughs> in the morning get your coffee fix and in the evening get your beer fix or your alcohol fix so they have happy hour specials so go check out their social media uh, unfortunately, due to the rising numbers and, and just being safe, which awesome on them, Crescent Ballroom is no longer opening the patio for now. Uh, they did say January 4th you can go do takeout and I think delivery services. So go check that out and you still get some of your favorite like burritos. They have awesome burritos. I'm sure the bean and cheese one, most favorite of you guys. I, I prefer the carne asada, I'm just going to say. But yeah, so they are going to be at least doing takeout from the kitchen and stuff starting January 4th. So go check that out and support them that way. Uh, yucca also take out you can also dine in with a mask be safe that kind of stuff they unfortunately they're being they're having th some things that are making it the main source of their income to support so you can do that uh you can also buy like, they have shirts in there that go and support the staff and the venue uh and then yeah they also have their compilation that they put out earlier this year that you can still support if you haven't already at yuccataproom.bandcamp.com so a lot of ways to support your favorite venues here in phoenix and Hopefully we can keep them afloat until at least the relief aid shows up and then also just till things are safe. I mean, that's the biggest thing. I want to see everyone at the end of all this. So 
keep safe. But of course, you're here for music streams that I think you might want to check out, right? So, and all these times are Arizona times, at least if I did the math right. And, well, starting with today and Christmas, I still don't see really anything. So relax, enjoy, be safe, but enjoy the day. Watch Wonder Woman or whatever, because I know that popped out. There's a new letter, Kenny, on the 26th, but only to distract you from other streams. But new letter, Kenny. Uh, but yeah, and then Saturday, we got a couple actually really cool. Got the Four-Eyed Horseman, Merry Boxing Day, because it's a Boxing Day. Uh, how, how, how nerdy and how knowledgeable. Uh, but yeah, that's featuring our Four-Eyed Horseman, you know, Schaefer the Dark Lord, MC Frontalot, Mega Rand, and MC Lars with Shubzilla and Bill Beats. They're going to be opening Who Are Freaking Rad. They came through Phoenix. They played Rebel Lounge um, like a year ago now uh, with MC Chris, so really cool go check that out you can go pick that up at tinyurl.com slash four eyed boxing starting at 3 p.m arizona time there's also a benefit holiday stream of the unity through community uh it's gonna be on their facebook it shows 11 a.m to 11 p.m on the event i saw jaffe from jaffe's ascent and so i assume he's part of it i didn't see a list of artists but go tune in and go see what random local musicians right there and help them out uh we also got the third episode of Bad Religion's Decade series. It's the Zeros, the Ots, I think we call them. The Ots. Um, but that one is them basically talking about music they produce in the Zero Zeros. And they're also going to be performing more songs from the Roxy that they recorded recently. And you can go get that at no caps, uh, nocapshows.com uh, slash artist question mark name equal bad dash religion. So you can go get your ticket there. And you can, I think, still access all of them, the four episodes. So that one's at 3 p.m. And then, yeah, as usual, I assume Kepi's going to do this. Kepi Ghouli being one of the most happy, uplifting people you can watch stream and making music and really cool. Uh, but the Kepi show, 10 a.m. over on his Facebook. So go check that out. So Saturday, keep you a little busy. Got a couple things on Sunday. Got FOL celebrating five years. Yes, five years. With this very entertaining sounding stream. That's, I think it's called Fuck Our Lips. It's, it was censored. I, I put the censoring, but I think it's Fuck Our Lips. It's a hot sauce challenge and concert stream. It's going to be on their Facebook starting at 6 p.m. We also got the Carter Drive sessions this week with Shamehole. Yes, freaking Shamehole, 7 p.m. Really, really excited to, I guess, just jump from one to the other. And then, of course, Bite Me Mammy streams every Sunday. I unfortunately missed this last Sunday. I'm sorry. But they should be, I assume, streaming on the 27th. Uh, so keep an eye on their Twitch, 5 p.m. Arizona. And then I assume, because this also seems to be coming much of a regular thing, but we count a case of the Mondays with Sydney Sprague, 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 on her Twitch, 7 p.m. Really cool little thing on also the Jared and the Mill Christmas special, if you caught that. That was really cool. Uh, but, yeah, there's that. Tuesday, Trunk Space Tuesdays. Uh, this one, it said 28th on the flyer, but it's Trunk Space Tuesday, so I assume it's Tuesday. If not, be sure to be like, or I'll try to edit the text if I can on the Facebook on website where I post the text versions of this. But yeah, so Trunk Space Tuesdays featuring Ryan Avery of Verlater Records and countless other bands. Uh, you probably have seen him if you've gone to the Trunk Space. He, he's going to be doing it with friends, a talk show on the Trunk Space Instagram. So go tune in to show 6 p.m. on the flyer. So really cool. Get some answers. See what they talk about. Maybe some new information. Ooh. But yeah, find out some deep secrets. If there's Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what they're talking about, but it sounds like it'll be fun. So go tune in 6 p.m. on the Trunk Space Instagram. Wednesday, looking light. Thursday, I believe, because Chris Murray's even doing one for Christmas Eve. So it's, keep an eye on it. That his norm is, uh, excuse me, his spotlight, there we go, is probably around 6 p.m. Arizona time, New Year's Eve. You might be able to go enjoy some Chris Murray to make the last of your music for the end of the year. Really cool. And then, yeah, Friday, it's New Year's Day. It is. January 1st, 2021. How about that? We made it. Uh, and actually, a pair of really cool stuff you can go catch here. We got what they're calling New Year's Heave at Fatty's, which is, of course, no effects. And Fat Mike, they're going to be playing all Punk and Drublick in entirety. So really cool. But also freaking the last gang, they're going to be on it with them opening this up. Uh, you can get tickets for that at noeffectsmerch.com. And they're doing it for 1994. <laughs> get it? And it said no service fees, so that's also really cool, starting at 2 p.m. Then there's the Rebuilder Live. This looks like it's a normal physical festival, maybe? But it's a festival of some musicians get together. They're going to be just streaming it, featuring one of the best ska bands I discovered this year, Cat Bite. Uh, we got Wolfface. We got Dylan from Spanish Love Songs. Sharky, 
Matt Spence, and Pismo Beach Disaster. That's a good name. Uh, but you can get that one at noonchorus.com slash rebuilder. So that one's starting at 1.30 p.m. So you got a pair of shows, a pair of music to keep you busy as you enter the brand new year. So hopefully you guys will be safe about all this too. So, uh, of course, as I always say, this is decentralized. It is hard. Like I'm paying attention to plenty of artists, but it's still easy to miss stuff. And the easiest way, though, of course, is open up your Instagram, scroll the top, see who's live. If you're looking for some live music on, like, whenever, and you'll see anyone that you follow is live. Uh, Facebook does it too. Anyone you follow, if you go to the video or the, uh, is it live name tab? I should get that. Remember that. I say I don't know. But it'll also present anyone you follow if they're live. It'll also try to make some suggestions which haven't been their best for me, but at least it's something. And sometimes you might stumble upon something cool. Uh, YouTube, same. So just pop on there, see who's streaming. Some of my favorites, like Sean, well, AJJ in general, they've been streaming, I think, twice a week still. You can catch the broadcast they put to their YouTube the next day, that kind of stuff. You got Devin K, who's been some awesome streams. I just watched him build, I guess, the most awesome kind of gingerbread house out of a Mario set last night or the night before. Um, but there's that. There's Dan Podhast. We got Adam Blaylock using the score. We got Playboy Man Baby creating, continuing to create these awesome, like, 30 second songs. Also, the Better World stuff that Robbie's doing. Go check it out on their, all their social media, really. Instagram, all Facebook. I mean, there's a lot of us. Rice and, uh, Rice and Reese. Ross and Reese out of Idiot Ken. We got Brian Mogul doing stuff. Like, there's always stuff out there. So you can go check that out. And, of course, just go check out. If you have some favorite bands and you want, you're, like, thinking about, I want to watch them. I hope they're, maybe they're doing something. Usually they're going to promote it. So go check out their social media. They'll probably be promoting it and you get time and date and tune in that way. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys, though, stay safe during the holidays. Don't take any unnecessary risks. Hope, stay sane. Be safe. Mask up if you guys go out. That kind of stuff. I guess that's kind of a little repetitive. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the chat. And I'll see you next year. Take care.